and welcome to another video tutorial from Oklahoma City University's Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. In this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how you can create a one-on-one -on -one Microsoft Teams meeting with one of your students. This is not going to be the Microsoft Teams within your course in D2L. Let me show you the difference. If I log into my D2L for Oklahoma City University homepage, and then I go to my course in question. I scroll all the way down on my course homepage. We see this Microsoft Teams connector. That link is going to open up the Microsoft team. So think of this as a team, like a group, that has all of my students in it. So if I click this button and do it this way, all of my students are going to be in that team meeting. I don't want to do that. I want one meeting link that I can send to one student because let's say I want to meet with them to talk about an assignment or to discuss their grades, they have questions, things like that. Just one student, one on one. So I'm not going to come through D2L. Instead, I'm going to go through Microsoft Teams. You can do this in the app installed on your computer, like clicking on the icon on your computer. Open up the icon, <clears throat> the Microsoft Teams, and all I'm going to do is come to Calendar and then up here in the right hand corner I can create a meeting now <clears throat> and then copy that link that I can get access to and send that to the student um, that might work let me show you how you could do that click meet now yeah that's fine start meeting camera yes I want to allow notice that the computer is asking me for permission to let this app use my let the program use my microphone and maybe even my webcam so I'm gonna say yes allow I'm gonna to toggle my webcam on right here yes I wanna allow my computer to use the camera click OK there I am and then I'm gonna click join now from here I can copy the meeting link and paste that into an email. <clears throat> I can add participants by clicking that and then typing the name of the student and they will receive an email. Um, again, this is for one-on-one. -on -one. And this first option is if I'm going to do the meeting right now, the student's waiting on me at home or in their dorm room and I'm going to email them this link. I could do that. The other option, let me close that in this meeting yes the other option is to schedule a new meeting so I come over here on the right hand side click the drop down arrow schedule a meeting let's say I'm gonna schedule my meeting with my student for a couple days from now here is where you would type the email address for the individual student that you were meeting with let me do this add my uh, colleague seal there we go and now I can click on a time and date so I'm gonna say Wednesday at let's say 1 30 and if I want to type in some details here I can and then I'm ready to send if I click send I'm gonna get this meeting added to my calendar and it'll also be added to Luke's calendar he will also receive an email, and that email will have a link that he can click to open up and join me in that meeting on Wednesday. So that is how you can schedule a Microsoft Teams meeting one-on-one -on -one with a student. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning.